At the end of the day, it posits the question is, do we really have a democracy in our country? Is government accountable to, to, to the people? Uh, is it really a covert, a shadow government that runs America? Uh, not only did they possibly kill Kennedy, but they killed Robert Kennedy, they killed Martin Luther King. They prosecuted a war in Vietnam in which, in which they lied to the people and never told them what was going on. We, then we have, we have a chief executive who, in liaison with the CIA, uh, conspired to bomb uh, a neutral country, uh, Laos and Cambodia, without telling the American people. Without, uh, that, that's a conspiracy. We have a chief executive who sat at the heart of a criminal conspiracy in our country and, uh, as you know, escaped uh, impeachment by resigning one step ahead. We had a conspir another conspiracy in our country to sell arms to uh, an enemy country uh, in the casual hope of their releasing some hostages. Another conspiracy to provide uh, weapons and cash to uh, uh, Nicaraguan Contras against the laws of the United States. Another possible conspiracy uh, to, to, to uh, uh, stall the release of hostages in, in, in Iran in order to get another president elected. We've had five or six conspiracies. These are all major allegations, major accusations on mm -hmm. your part. Why well, no, these are facts. On uh, Five of these six conspiracies are facts. Why make movies? Why not make documentaries? Because obviously you, you do care about the truth. Well, because we don't have the facts on the Kennedy killing. All the facts are not in. And part of the reason is because the, the damn government never gave the facts to the people. When the Warren Commission was formed, and I implied that it was a cover-up, the CIA and the FBI gave what they wanted to to the Warren Commission, and they had a hell of a lot of more uh, documentation. They had 300,000 pages on Oswald. They never gave anything to the, to, the, uh, to the Warren Commission of any significance. Uh, Alan Dulles, who Jack Kennedy had fired as the head of the CIA, and Jack Kennedy vowed, as you know, to splinter the CIA into 10,000 pieces, they appointed Alan Dulles uh, to investigate John Kennedy's death. That's like asking the, uh, the, the fox to investigate the chicken coop. It isn't fair. So you cannot talk to me about as if there is any set or agreed upon f a body of facts in the, in the Kennedy killing. It is a mess, this case. It is a mess. And it is the right, in fact, it may well be the obligation of any artist to go back into this thing and reinterpret it. Because I don't think the history was written correctly. You've been pretty forceful in your condemnation of the media at the time and since. Do you think that's why they have now turned around and attacked the film? No, no. Uh, my condemnation was, is a small part of it. The media basically blew the story in 1963. I'm talking about the American media. They, they accepted the cover story, which was put out on Friday afternoon. Uh, that Oswald did it alone. Uh, and I showed that in the movie with Donald Sullivan. They had the, uh, the cover story right in place. Uh, it's a, it's, it was uh, the technique of black operations, the technique of covert operations. They had a studio biography of, of Oswald that was available on all the wires. You could have been in New Zealand, you could have been in Egypt, you could have been in, in England, uh, South Africa. You got the same story on Friday afternoon. This was four or five hours before Oswald was charged with the killing of the president, but it was already starting to point to Oswald. And when Oswald was killed on Sunday by Jack Ruby, the New York Times headline said, President's assassin is shot. It didn't say, President's alleged assassin is shot, which is what it should have said. You know, we're living in the Orwell age. He, he's an Eng your English uh, writer is, was much more acute than people give him credit for. Uh, I remember when 1984 rolled around, Time Magazine had a cover and they sort of chuckled and said, well, you see, 1984 came and went and it never happened. But it did happen. And it happened in a much more subtle way than even Orwell could have predicted. It happened in a way where the media did take over, but they gave you so much trivialization and so much marginalization uh, that they could depoliticize any issue by trivializing it. And it worked.